Why would the, why would the counselor try to make me do this? He knows this isn't funny. James, my man, how you been doing? Okay. James, you're a great guy, and we're great friends, right? But I'm gonna need that $20 from last week. the money but I get paid Friday. You're good man. Alright class, partner up and talk about the reading last night from Marcus Aurelius and your thoughts on it. James, you're my partner. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even read. Um, I see how you look at the book when you take it out of your backpack and stuff. It's like obviously something you like care about and love, right? Um, I'm looking for those same attributes of, like, caringness and love and, and a relationship. So, so can you tell me what happened in the book? The main claim is that once you get attached to something, you lose it. Human life is short-lived and meaningless other than our perspective and it's just a constant march until death. Change is the nature of life and the universe requires it. So we must accept it and move on. James! Tomorrow, let's, let's go to dinner at Zeno's at 7.30. You can tell me more about all this like change and stuff. Okay. James, my man. How's it going? Um, that's a clean bike. You gotta upgrade to that bike of yours. Hey, uh, do you have that 20 bucks that you owe me? Oh. I know this guy has $20. I know you have $20. to maybe help you manage stress. It's tomorrow at 7.30, okay? Don't forget. 7.30, 7.30, like when I have work? Here's the information. So much for stress. The pickles, are this, this the pickles or something? No, 7.30. Steve knew I was doing this, I'd be fired on the spot. Hello, is this James? Uh, yeah. What seems to be the problem? Are you dealing with anxiety or depression? No. Well, you're going to have to help me out. What is wrong? 
Okay. Okay. Well, who knows if you can actually help. My, whatever my friend wants twenty dollars, and I think he's gonna steal my bike. Olivia asked me on a date to Zeno's, but I think she only likes me because I read this book. My boss, Steve, says I don't have enough passion for my job and would probably fire me if he knew he was on, I was on this call. Oh. Well, try this when you go home. It seems like you could use a good laugh. A laugh? Try watching a comedy special and laughing, and I mean really laughing. Look at the mirror and laugh even if nothing is funny. Well, you better get back to work, young man. Let me know if this works. No, you big dummy. The guy from television is at the grocery store. <laughs> kind of guy that probably has an account on Farmers Only. He knows this isn't uh, funny. Heard of that website, <laughs> FarmersOnly.com, website that begs the court. Am I sure about this? Why am I doing this? Why does she like me? Why did she invite me? Is it because of the book? Does she only like me because of the book? But she has a nice face. Ha, 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 ha. Where is she? I don't even like pizza. Why did I come? Alright, I can't take this. I'm fired if I don't get back. James? You have no respect for the art and science of fine Greek dieting. I doubt you can get a job at Arby's. You're late. Where's your uniform? You have no respect. You know, no more excuses. You're fine. Jerk, you stood me up? Who do you think you are? The book wasn't even that good, by the way. My man, I finally upgraded. <laughs> what? What am I? What am I feeling? What? Is this what the counselor was talking about? <laughs> he was right. 